My name is Mary Talkin. I'm the Chest Pain Center Coordinator for Glendale Adventist Medical Center. My name is John Dale, and I'm the Cardiovascular Clinician here at uh, Glendale Adventist Medical Center. My name is Melina Thorpe, and I'm the Director of Cancer Services at Glendale Adventist. I'm here today to speak to you regarding the Smoke-Free Initiative. The reason that Glendale Adventist has chosen to become a smoke-free campus is in line with our mission to have a healthy environment. Tobacco use is very detrimental to both the heart, the lungs, and uh, it's also associated with cancer and many different organs of our body. The community looks to the hospitals in their area to adopt healthy lifestyles, and it is very important that Glendale Adventists have a healthy environment for our patients, our visitors, and for our staff. We're showing the community that it is important to stop smoking and that smoking is associated with many detrimental health problems. Studies that have been done over the years in the um, oncology community have proven that there's a direct correlation between cigarette smoking and lung cancer. I think most people still consider smoking to be uh, cancer related for the most part, but uh, statistics show that it, uh, more people are dying uh, cardiovascular death from smoking than they are from cancer. I think it's disarming and alarming to the staff to see patients and staff smoking um, on campus when they firsthand know the consequences of what smoking can do. I, I'm hoping they'll look at it as a very positive uh, measure that we're taking. I'm sure it's not going to be very easy. As everyone knows, uh, people that smoke, it's a very hard habit to, uh, to quit. I think the hospital has a great plan in place to assist employees with counseling and both um, the potential use of patches, lozenges, and gum to help them through the process. One of the things that people should realize is that statistics show that about 50,000 people uh, die from secondhand smoke every year. So obviously, uh, becoming a smoke-free center decreases the chance of being in contact with secondhand smoke, which is very positive. We are very empathetic to patients who do smoke and want them to know that in no way should you feel guilty or alone if you do have a cancer diagnosis. And we also see patients here at Glendale Adventist and other community settings who have never smoked a day in their lives but do get lung cancer too. So the message is, is whether you're a smoker or a non-smoker, if you do develop this disease, we're here to help and support you.